My name is Seth Adam Smith. I'm a husband, father, and author. For years, I've struggled with depression and suicidal thoughts. But one of the things that gets me through each and every day is discovering a new reason to live. For me, one of the most inspiring reasons for living is the man who saved America. In the 1600s, there lived a man named William Blackston, and he joined himself with a group of people who decided to go to the New World and try to colonize it, um, try to make it a commercial enterprise you know, they could make money from, right? So they went over and, you know, like so many expeditionary forces at the time, they just, <laughs> they were not successful. So after about a year, uh, they all decided to go home. All of them, except for William Blackston. Uh, Blackston, for some unknown reason decided to stay in the New World by himself. The best thing that I can come up with or the best reason I can come up with to explain why he's doing this is because he doesn't want to be with anybody. He got tired of life as it was in England. He just wanted to be on his own. So William Blackston went north to a, a kind of a peninsula. He built a small cottage and lived there. In fact, I think it was a couple of years that he lived there on his own before other settlers came to the New World and actually settled on the other side of the harbor. And after settling on this side of the harbor, they quickly realized that they were not prepared to live in the New World. The water, in particular, on that side of the harbor wasn't, wasn't drinkable. It made them sick. And so a lot of these Puritans uh, started dying. And during this time, while they were sick and dying, they looked out across the harbor and they saw this light in the darkness, this light in the wilderness, this, this little cottage that was lit up, this little beacon. And so they sent people over to talk to this man, this strange person living by himself. And I can only imagine how William Blackston might have felt, right? But something happened to him in that time. He changed. Something worked on his heart. And William Blackston left his home, his solitude, and went across the water and met with these Puritans, met with these people, these strangers, and brought them over to his side, gave them his water, gave them his food, his home. And he saved their lives. Eventually, the Puritans started settling on this peninsula. They, they built some homes and they built a town. And eventually that town became what we now know as the city of Boston. And if you know anything about American history, you know that Boston is the birthplace of the American Revolution. That's where it started. That's where that spark began. That fire began, but it really began when the Puritans looked across the harbor and saw a light in the wilderness, light in the darkness, by this man who had a change of heart and decided to help other people. 
And right next to the home where Blackston used to live is a street, and it's called Beacon Street. And I'd like to think that the, the Puritans named it that because of what they saw, because of seeing this light in the darkness, because of seeing this, this hope in the distance. When I think about that, I think about everything that's come from that, I know that to someone right now, you are a light in the darkness. That your life can have just as great an impact on someone who is struggling right now. And that's a good reason for living.